What's up guys welcome back to Android app development tutorial now as I told you in the last video in this video I'm gonna talk about how you can add and delete items inside the recycler view but before doing that let me show you guys how you can implement on click listener and on long click listener for every item present inside the recycler view so so what I mean to say is when you're going to click any of these item then something should happen so for that we need to implement what on click listener and on long click listener so how do we apply such thing inside the recycler view to apply on click listener and on long click listener let us go to my custom adapter dot java now inside the my custom adapter dot java we are having on bind view holder method so inside this method we are going to implement the listener for each item so let's do one thing guys my view holder dot image view dot set on click listener so here is our on click listener so here we go I have implemented a listener my view holder dot image view dot set on click listener so inside the on click listener let us do one thing guys toes dot make text context on click called on position let's say position fine then length short dot show Clear. so when we are going to click on any of the images then this toast message will be displayed on long click called on this particular position fine now let us implement on long click listener let's say my view holder dot image view dot set on long click listener pretty simple not so complex till now now again guys I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this toast message and paste it here fine let's say on long click called on position this position fine let it be at yeah so in this way we can implement our listeners so let us run our application and let's see the output so at this point of time our application is running now let's click on cat1 here we go on click called at position 0 let's click on this image on click called at position 1 fine this is 0th position this is 1th position Similarly, let us go downside and click on any image on click called at position 7 now on the same image Let us long press it on Long click called at position 7. So our application is working perfectly fine pretty awesome, so Now there is an issue when we click on any image on long click is called but soon after that on click is also called So what we're gonna do inside the long click listener. We are going to return what true value which states hey this image is going to consume this on long click event fine so we are returning true now let's run it again so let's check it out long click it then hey on long click is called then soon after that on click is not called now just single click on it yeah on click is called at position 0 so both the functions are working fine now guys as I told you in this video I will show you how you can remove and add items in the recycler view so what are the steps to add an item inside the recycler view first of all we need to perform operation to add item to our data set now guys if you remember our data set was was containing the objects of information class so we need to alter that data set if we are adding some data in the position number zero then we need to alter our data set if you are not getting the step number one guys I will just explain you please don't worry about it now after performing operation to add item to our data set we need to call notify item inserted and the position at which our data has been inserted this method needs to be called on the adapter in case we are adding the new entry to our data set at a defined position so what does these two steps means let me show you the codes in Android studio now inside the Android studio what I'm going to do I am going to call two methods now in case user single clicks on the item we are going to duplicate that particular item so what we're going to do just call add method fine now this add method we have not created yet so just type alt enter create method fine so here our method has been created now what we need to do we need to pass few parameters what parameters let me tell you here I am defining a integer current 
position equal to position fine now i will pass this position to this add method clear now as i told you our first step was to alter the data set so what we are going to do we are going to define information object space info data equal to data dot get position fine so inside the on on bind view holder method we are retrieving the current position which is actually this position and also we are retrieving the current data set fine and storing it inside our temporary info data and we are going to pass this current position and info data to our add method so inside the add method just pass it and here just type alt enter change signature yes here we go i have added int position and information data right here now let us write the functionality of this method this method adds now this method adds or duplicates a object item to our data set as well as recycle view so when we are going to click on any of the image then that row will be duplicated so what we are going to do inside it we have to first update our data set so let us do one thing guys data set dot add dot add now this add method is a predefined method so let us write position comma info data fine now let now just to avoid confusion guys this add method i am changing it here add item fine here also add item clear because this add method related to data set is actually a predefined method it is going to add this object item at this particular position fine now soon after this our second step was to notify item inserted at what position at current position pretty simple guys so let us do one thing guys let us run our application and let's see our application is working perfectly fine or not now before proceeding that let me tell you what i have done i have just passed two parameters position the current position fine oh sorry guys let me change it to current position yeah this current position and let's make it final fine and also i am passing also i am retrieving the information object from our current data set and passing it to add item method now inside the add item method i am first altering the data set and then notify the adapter that we have made some changes inside our data set so accordingly make some changes inside the recycler view so at this point of time let us run our application and hopefully everything will work fine so here we go our application is running now let's click on this cat 2 yes here we go item clicked at this position and you can see this item has been duplicated now let us try it on let's say yeah this dog is looking quite awesome these two let's duplicate it just click on it on click is called and this dog one is actually duplicated fine now again let's try it out with this parrot let's try it parrot 7 is again duplicated fine so the steps are totally clear guys now let's perform the operation to delete the item so on long click of the item we are going to delete the item so let us define a method let's remove item now as a parameter we just require to pass one parameter that is info data fine so let us create this method or enter create method yes the method has been created so let us do one thing guys let us write the comment line here updates the recycler view pretty simple now we just need to write two lines of codes here what is the code just write int position equal to data dot index of info data fine now next step will be to data dot remove position fine now let's notify it notify item removed now here what we're gonna do just pass the position fine so what we have done here we have retrieved the position of this info data now this info data is something at which the item has been long clicked this one this info data fine this has been passed here and we have retrieved the position of this info data so let this variable be current position current position 
find now let's this also be fine so data dot remove current position so we are removing the data at this position from our data set pretty simple now after this notify item removed so we are notifying the adapter hey hey adapter at this current position we have removed one element so just make some changes in the recycler view and arrange the elements accordingly so what we're going to do just run this application and seek the effect so here our application is running. Now let us duplicate this cat one by just single click on it. Yes, the cat one has been added. Now just long click on this cat one. So as soon as I long clicked on this cat one, the cat one has been removed. Now I don't like this cat one again. So just long press it. So again that cat one has been deleted. Now cat three, let us delete this by pressing long click. Yes, cat3 has also been deleted. So like this also, if you press long click on this doc2, it will be deleted. Yes, it has been deleted with a perfect animation. So guys, let me show you one thing guys. I just forgot to show you the steps to remove the item guys. Just perform operation to delete the item from our data set like we have done in the add item. So we have done this first step in our remove item also just update the data set and notify the adapter that the item has been removed at this particular position so in this way guys we have performed our operation and again guys i must tell you please don't confuse with the codes before uploading these codes for you i will just comment everything so that you won't face any kind of difficulty So meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to this channel and make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter and catch you guys in the next video.